Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, Dad's Princess Things. Up to now, in this HTML tutorials, we have seen many things like editors, what are the elements and attributes and basic things we have seen. Today, we are going to see, see about the HTML headings. In the HTML headings, we can have uh, so many of uh, types and styles and sizes of headings. Uh, let's see one by one. HTML headings, what is meant by HTML headings? Uh, nothing but these are the titles or subtitles that we can display on the web page. The web page you, which we are going to decide, uh, design, uh, have a content and matter and everything. At the same time, the content will have headings also. Those headings or subtitles or uh, titles we can call as headings. Headings of the web page can be of different size. Like uh, if a, if the heading is the main heading, then it will take a big size. If it, the heading is the subheading or a, a side heading, then it will be goes little bit smaller than the, the bigger heading. So headings are of many types. Here we have one to six types of headings, which is of different sizes. Starting from one to six, the, uh, decreases the size. Here we can see the sizes of these headings. Let's try one example, then you get a clarity on that. So these are the different headings we have. Heading 1, heading 2, the size we is increasing. The H1 is the bigger one. H1 is the bigger. And, um, sorry. And, bigger and uh, H6 is the smaller of all. Which can be uh, similar to a uh, paragraph and smaller than that write any content on that then it will be printed off of for that size so these are called headings from 1 to 6 yeah. HTML headings are defined with, with which tags h1 to h6 tags h1 is the most important and that is the largest heading tag and h6 is the least important heading and that is the smallest heading of all so here is the same example you can have let's check if anything the body in the body we have nested these heading tags so that you got to know that now next one headings are important are the headings are really important uh, uh, browsers automatically add some spaces uh, before a head and after a heading generally a browser uh, automatically gives some white spaces that like uh, gives like a margin for uh, you can see here uh, while uh, running the above program you will get heading 5 and in the next line uh, you will get heading 5 not on the uh, next to the uh, heading 4 it takes another line and new line and gives a space also so by this you can uh, know that uh, heading will uh, gives a white margin uh, after and before the heading next headings are important is the heading is really important to mention in your web page you can have or a not based upon your requirement headings are uh, necessary or not is you up to you such engines use the heading to the index the structure and the content of your web page generally search engines use the heading to the index uh, for example uh, some web pages are there search engines like google and everything takes the what you will gonna search about the topic of uh, a topic will be the heading right so it, the type of search engines use these headings as an index to the structure and content of your web page. But if the searching uh, for the searching process, the user may type anything uh, uh, to get that uh, web page. So at that time, the search engines will search for the indexes and headings on that web page so that it will retrieve that data to the user. So at that cases, these headings plays a major role. So use of headings will always be added advantage to your web page. But uh, doesn't have any disadvantage to you. So often uh, you can skip a web page by its heading, and it is also important to use heading to store the document structure. To get a document structure type, uh, headings are important. Without headings, it will be uh, not looks that much uh, effectively, and uh, uh, the structure whole structure will be looks nice when uh, everything is present. Like that, headings is also important. Next, H1 headings should be used for main headings. We can go to with the H1 headings for the larger headings or main headings. We will go with the larger H1 H1 tag and H2 headings and less than important, less important H3 and go so on. Uh, based upon the importance of that heading, whether it, that heading what it indicates, uh, based upon the main heading, then we'll go with the H1. If you want to make that it has side heading or a uh, 
लिटिल बिट दैन द बिगर हेडिंग दैन गो विद द लेसर लेसर हेज टू हिस्ट्री और सो ऑन विल बी देर यू कैन सी इन दिस वेब प्रोजर वॉट वी हैव डन दिस इज दिस इज द मेन हेडिंग विच यू हैव ऑन द टॉप विल बी द हेच वन हेडिंग हियर यू कैन सी and next to what we will have paragraphs and everything and this is the side heading so we will go with the h2 this little bit smaller than that big one and this example will be the little bit smaller than this uh, subheading then we will go to the h3 and next here we have a note point and this is also heading for the note then we will go uh, decreasing a uh, h4 likewise you can decide what type of uh, heading it is based on that uh, uh, requirement you can use those tags and next use html headings uh, or uh, headings only use html headings for headings only we have to use those headings for only he to give headings not for uh, uh, making text like paragraphs nothing we have to use those uh, tag uh, heading tags to the heading only and next uh, html use headings to make uh, big or bold don't use uh, some people are using to make the content to bold or uh, look big they use the heading tags uh, uh, to the text uh, so that is not uh, permissible if you want to uh, take that content as a heading then only you have to use this heading tag uh, otherwise it won't be works that much uh, good other tags are there to get the bold and big content so uh, for the heading purpose we have to use the heading tags next um, a uh, bigger headings we come to big we're coming to bigger headings uh, each html have a default size for example uh, each html heading has a default size as we can say h1 is of larger size like that however you can specify the size of any heading you can also specify you you want much bigger than that uh, bigger heading of size h1 then you can also alter the size of that uh, heading uh, by using this style attribute as we have seen in the earlier classes the style attribute is used to give the properties for that uh, a particular content with properties like color background color font uh, family and uh, size and everything you can have to give in the style attribute uh, um, Oh, uh, we can give any properties to the style using style attributes. Uh, using CSS property, we can call it as a font size property. For example, for giving size, the H one tag is open. In the opening tag, we have to give the attribute as we learn earlier. The style is equal to what I have given here. Font size is equal to sixty pixel. I have mentioned. Have already I given the syntax of this style. Style is equal to property colon a value. Here property is the font size. Here I am giving mentioning the value of sixty pixel. So uh, given the property along with the attribute and the text which you wanna gonna display on this H one tag. So try this example. See how it looks. I am I am increasing the size to sixty pixel here. So H one heading is generally small size. Then I am mentioning this. Let's see what uh, will be the size if I remove this. Let's see how it will looks. With only H one, it will give the small heading. Ah, uh, if you have a style attribute of ah uh, your required size, then you will get a bigger heading. So you can also give styles to the heading tags, and every tag you can give specify your styling. This is of bigger headings. You want a bigger heading than H one, then you will go with the style attribute. And these are the exercises which you gonna practice. Ah, uh, uh, they give the correct HTML tag to add the heading with the text London. So uh, what they are saying? Use the correct HTML tag to add a heading with the text London. We have to add the heading. Oh, uh, correct uh, tag. Oh, uh, they are going to. I'm using H one tag. to give the heading as london yes and i'm closing h1 tag then you will get to heading as this one so likewise you can practice anything and uh, these are the html tag references do you wanna um, know about the more tags then you will go to this page html tag references where you can see a uh, many more tags based upon the alphabetical order document type a area based like the term directional and data delete so this are many things to learn so that's all for today what you today we have seen all about headings what type of headings it is why headings are important and bigger headings uh, and some exercises on this html so go through these things i think everyone is clear with this html headings uh, 
if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and if you have any doubts regarding to this html and uh, topics tutorials and everything you can comment in the comment section i will definitely reply to that comments within 44 hours so no need to bother about it if you have any doubts please let us know in the comment section and uh, do, do your friends and colleagues are in the search of these web developer uh, sites and tutorials you can mention us and uh, uh, suggest us to them and uh, share with your friends and colleagues uh, about these tutorials and if you have subscribed to my channel it is well and good and if you didn't subscribe it subscribe now and if you already subscribed click the bell icon below if i upload a new video regarding those these tutorials of html and uh, any concepts you will get to notified each time when we upload a new video so that you can't miss any further videos regarding to these topics so stay tuned to our channel and click the bell icon below thanks for watching bye bye